The unscheduled visit to the Nigerian Television Authority, MINA, by the organization's director general, Yakubu Ibn Muhammad, was intended to inspect the station's equipment and interact with the management and staff with a view to strengthening the station. The DG, while commending the dedication and commitment of NTA management and staff, said most of the NTA state capital stations are almost on their nails, hence the need to work harder to uphold the NTA's slogan, you can't beat the rich. It, uh, it requires commitment and uh, doggedness you know, on the part of every staffer of NTA. And I can assure you that uh, I have every confidence that in NTA we have the people who are capable of uh, taking NTA to the next level. Considering the strategic nature of Niger State and proximity to the federal capital territory, the DG called on stakeholders to support the NTA administration to serve the government and people of the state better. He, however, pledged to support the station with a generator, saying his administration will not compromise staff welfare. On the issue of digitization, the DG reiterated commitment towards the switch over in June this year and the plan to recategorize NTA stations nationwide to enable them operate based on their capacity and resources as well as ensure effective service delivery in the country. There are stations that are better off in terms of equipment. There are stations that are uh, better off uh, in terms of uh, internally generated revenue. So you cannot you know, uh, lump every NTS station into one category. You have to be realistic. You study the, the environment in which a station is located and then uh, you categorize accordingly. Earlier, the general manager, NTA Mina Mokhtar Abdullahi expressed pleasure with the DG's visit, saying it will give the management and staff a sense of belonging and encouragement. In Mina Mokhtar Abubakru, NTA News.